Joining us now, Democratic Congresswoman Judy Chu of California, chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus. Uh, thank you so much, Congresswoman, for joining us. You sent a letter to the White House. What would you like to hear from the president today? I would like to see bold action. There are far too many Americans that are suffering right now, including the Asian Pacific Islander community, where uh, members are unemployed for longer periods of time than any other ethnic group. They are suffering tremendously, and what we need is very strong and decisive action. But how do you, again, I ask the same question to Senator Menendez, how is bold defined? I mean, this is sounding like, and, and please, with all due respect, a talking point at this time, because I keep hearing this, this line of wording uh, with bold that's what you want to see. Give me some specifics on what that means. Well, I would like to see uh, an investment in infrastructure. Uh, there are roads and highways and airports that need to be rebuilt. There are schools. The average school is 40 years old. If we were able to get uh, jobs in that kind of infrastructure, uh, we would be able to put so many millions of Americans back to work. Um, some of the reporting out there is the plan will be at least $300 billion, a few tax cuts, a lot of money for government finance, jobs, infrastructure, the list of things you just named there. Uh, from what I'm being told, you don't believe that that dollar figure is enough. That's not bold enough. Well, I, I wish it were more. Uh, I do feel that the president is going in the right direction, and I am glad that uh, he's not uh, getting this money or proposing that these funds come from cuts, but instead from the uh, ending of the tax credits to the millionaires. Are you confident that an agreement can be reached at this point? And I ask the senator the same question. When you have uh, some Republicans who say they don't even want to show up for the speech, what is there for us to hold on to that there could be some kind of compromise? Well, I, th I think it's really disrespectful to not show up when the, the country is in such a critical point right now. Uh, but uh, I do believe that the president must make his best case and uh, he must challenge the Republicans to finally do a jobs bill after nine months of them being in control of the House. And if not, then he has to take it to the American people. All right, Congresswoman Chu, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate you. You both are very busy.